Hey, what's happening guys? This is Paras from PG Tech and this is my ROM review of um, Material V4 Beta that I just flashed in my Micromax Unite 2. This is a super stable ROM I ever seen. The ROM is also compatible with other handsets. If you want to check out the list of the handsets, you can check the description if your handset was listed there. So you sh should try this beautiful and amazing ROM. Before we start the review, I'm going to tell you that the room is made by uh, Jeff Rivera who lived in streets of Philippines and studying in grade 10. So you can easily think a grade 10 student make room like this and when he, if when he get older he makes the best room by doing his effort and hard work. So if you want to contact Jeff Rivera and have this room go to the settings in about phone you will found in uh, go to advance about room here's a room developer Jeff Rivera is a link facebook.com yhapts24 so you can easily contact to Jeff Rivera or you can join his join his material room group in Facebook if you want to join the group you can check out the description link and request requested to join and he will accept you so here we begin the start the review first we talk about the name the room name was material v4 beta so when you hear the name v4 obviously there are older versions like v3 and v2 due to the room is uh, room had in a beta state so it may contain some bugs I found three bugs in this room we talk about the bugs in last few seconds of video first we talk about the animations UI or features the animations are pretty good animation looks like lollipop as you see quick pull downs are like lollipop and smooth and the animations are cool so settings are looks like lollipop in go you if you go to about phone you will see as android version is lollipop you can also play a lollipop planned game next we talk about the advanced option there is some inbuilt features in this room like sign engine mode have so if you go to the settings, go to advanced, you will find some features like user guide, framework, status bar, home screen, tools, sound management and about room. In user guide, if you are a new or new user, you can use the user guide so it may help, to help you to understand the room and its features. If you go to a framework, in framework you will see a list view animation that you know about the list tune animation and if you found the scale and it if you scroll down you can see the settings are being animated so if you don't want to frame an animation just keep it off and the authority is, is also working I just turn all the auto rotate. So next is status bar. So there are some extra features uh, built in status bar. You can change the battery icon style. You can change your profile picture. You can show your network speed meter or you can set your speed meter. Next is home screen. Home screen is our there's a wallpaper option. Material wallpaper. There are a bunch of material wallpapers. In home you will set your launcher next we talk about the tools in tools you will found the performance control that is the CPU control that manage your CPU frequency the one are you scheduler if you want to save the battery set max frequency to minimum frequency or if you want to do a high gaming just set max frequency at is that is 1.3 gigahertz i am using a micromax unite 2 handset so my max frequency is 1.3 gigahertz if your 
if your ROM is compatible with another other handset the frequency may change next we talk about auto start auto start items so you can manage auto start items and it conserves some battery next engineer mode engineer mode helps you to control your device sounds phone size next is sound management in sound management you can easily increase or decrease the sound management or you can fix in sound and notification you will found a user profile in DSP manager DSP manager works like uh, Viper for Android or uh, Dolby Dolby sounds if you know about these so you can easily set uh, like if you if you're using a handset you can set your dynamic range bass boost equalizer etc etc these are the special features in 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 this room so next are overall other features are same like lollipop or uh, kitkat head but UI is UI is like lollipop and one more thing I want to tell you that if you go to apps the downloaded apps like lollipop SD card you can move your apps to SD card but in running section it, it may take some time to load so you see it's, it is looking like a lollipop running so if they, you can see a user of RAM or a free RAM that I am using 730 MB of RAM and free my is 232 approx so this is all apps as you say the background is white so it feels like lollipop if you see the dialer is also like lollipop If you go to uh, messaging, messaging is also like a lollipop, and contact appearance is also like a lollipop. Overall, if we talk about the bugs, I found three bugs that in this room. First bug is landscape mode. If you set your phone into a landscape mode. Quick toggles are not displaying, only two options are displaying that is Wi Fi and Bluetooth. The airplane data connection, auto profile, location, auto rate are not showing in the landscape. These are the this this is the first bug I found. Second bug is if you click this flashlight option, flashlight is not working but actually it's working with any other app or you can change this flashlight from gravity box and the third and last one last bug is uh, if you know about the gravity if you know gravity box and enable the navigation keys in v3 and flash this room without changing any things the room not flash properly or if we flash it not not processed it show appears unfortunately system UI stop again and again and again so if you want to flash the ROM on v3 you have to disable your navigation keys these are the only three bugs I found overall ROM is very good it is a KitKat based lollipop ROM so it is more stable than lollipop as you know lollipop is very buggy and Sometimes expose expose installer gravity box and expose some modules are not working on lollipop in lollipop the drawback is the you cannot move your apps to SD card but this is a KitKat based lollipop you can easily move your apps to SD card expose installer working gravity box is working and every other module is working fine either I am using greenify greenify is also working fine But and uh, one thing and more if you go to settings as you see you there is option of users in user it is it's 
looks like uh, you may f your phone may contain dual boots means dual profile when you as you know that there are a dual boot in boots in pc so if you want a windows 7 or a window xp or window 8 but it it actually doing like this like if you add a user profile while you start your phone you have to choose your profile I'm not using that option because uh, I don't know if, if it's working or not so if you you can check at your own risk while it's working or, or not so next is in developer option you all know the right option if you change the one to select runtime you can change it to art and other feature of rooms are pretty awesome the chrome is if you open the chrome chroming is very fast but if you want to root the root this you have to use a king user in micromax unite 2 i don't know about know about the other phones there is a pre-installed super su but in micro in micromax unite 2 super su is not working so you have to root with king user that i am having there and overall the room performance is good room is better room has smooth ui cool animations the best room i ever seen and all great if you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button do likes and do share and if you need any help related to flashing you can check my facebook page that is facebook.com pgtext or you can follow me on facebook follow me on instagram and twitter if you need link you can check the description link their all links are given there if you directly contact to developer it is uh, you can easily contact to him by using description links that is uh, facebook.com by psg24 that is link of a jeff rivera profile or you can join his material material group for further updates please like pgtex thanks for watching guys stay tuned